just like asking us like theoretically what would be an example of a molecule that doesn't have a PI. And he gave us two. Acylated with six glyce and a pro. Right. Or a ring. Okay. So here we have three glycines in a row. There's three glycines in a row. Now, does this have any acidic or basic functionalities? This over here, and this over here. Two acidic or basic functionalities. So even if all we have is glycines with no acidic or basic side chains, we still have the acidic and basic functionalities. Let's make sure I got the structure here right. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carboxy carbon. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carboxy carbon. Nitrogen, alpha carbon, carboxy carbon. Now, this is the way an N-terminus normally looks. However, it's possible to acylate the N-terminus. Oh, and also, sorry, just before you forget, remember how you said before that we should know the mechanism for making pi? That's right. Um, Shall we go over that? You know that? I know it. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay. It's okay. just one attacking them. Yeah. It's just an example of the reactions we went over last time. It's an amine attacking a carboxylic acid, right? It's an amide end attacking a carboxylic acid end. Well, that was one of the nucleophilic substitution reactions we talked about last time for carboxylic acid derivatives moving in our reactivity chart. Although, actually, we're about to go over that right now. So let's say that we combined this peptide with acetic acid. Let's say that we combine these together. Well, all right, even that, let's not, let's not even go through the reaction here. So let's just say, one thing we could do, so here we have this, this amine end. However, let's suppose that we took this amine end and we isolated it. This is what's called a uh, acyl group over here, two carbon chain with a carbonyl. So we've now isolated this nitrogen end. Two carbon, okay. This is a acetyl group. So we should know the mechanism for that. We're well, it. well, we, we went, uh, so for example, one way we could do that is by reacting this with this. This would just be one of the normal reactions we went over last time when we're attacking a acyl halide. Okay. Here we have a nucleophile. Yeah. So the nucleophile would come in, and then this would be the leaving group, and that would put this acyl group here on this nitrogen. And after the nitrogen attacks, it would deprotonate, so it has only one fewer hydrogen. In any case, the key point is that we can add an acyl group to the N-terminus. Mm -hmm. Now, what type of functional group is this? Mm -hmm. And what type of functional group is this? Mm -hmm. So, is this basic? Yes. yes, and is this basic? No. So, now we've gotten rid of another basic functionality. Now we've gotten rid of another basic functionality. So. Acylating the N-terminus is a way to get rid of its basicity. If you acylate the N-terminus, it's no longer going to be basic. And then, okay. And then on this end, on this carboxy end, it's possible to turn the C-terminus into an amide. It's possible to turn the C-terminus into an amide. You really could get that to work if you just had ammonia attack here. Again, that would be a, just a normal attack of, a, of an amine group on a carboxylic acid or acid derivative. And that would replace the, the carboxy end with this uh, nitrogen. So now, even though this is still the C-terminus, and even though this is still the N-terminus, now the N-terminus is no longer an amine group. And now the C-terminus is no longer a carboxy group. So what we're seeing here is it's possible to modify peptides so they look different than normal. But those are nucleophilic. No, they're not. It's an amide. Because this is an amide. Yeah. Now, there are no longer any acidic or basic functionalities. We've now eliminated all the acidic or basic functionalities, basically because we turned them all into amides. Everything that used to be an acidic or basic functionality has been turned into an amide. Well, clearly, if this has nothing acidic or basic, it can't have a PI. That's why your instructor said this doesn't have a PI. PI has to do with changing the pH to manipulate the acid or basic functionalities. Uh, the PI, remember, is when you get the maximum amount of this vitter ion. But this doesn't have any ions at all. It's just neutral. Okay. 
Okay, and we need to make sure not to draw any side chains because that would mess things up. You can draw side chains, but they couldn't be side chains with acidic or basic functionalities. Okay. So, so here we were supposing that these were all. So these do have side chains. They're just all glycine right. side chains. They didn't have to be glycine. It could be any side chains that are not acidic or basic. And so you isolate the N terminus and you. What do you call it? Turn this side into an amide. I don't know if there's a special name for that. Yeah, I guess, uh, acylate. Because, yeah, this is thought of as an acyl group. Okay, thank you. This is a cyclic dipeptide. It still is a peptide because we still have the structure carboxy carbon, alpha carbon, nitrogen, or I should say nitrogen, alpha carbon, carboxy carbon, nitrogen, alpha carbon, carboxy carbon. But instead of having an N terminus or a C terminus, we've made it cyclic. So here we have a cyclic dipeptide. Dipeptide? It's a dipeptide because it's made out of two amino acids, right? There's again no C terminus or N terminus because, or there are. Now there really is. So in this case, there was a C terminus. It just wasn't acidic anymore because it had been turned into an amide. Now there really aren't any termini. There really aren't any termini because this is a cycle. It's just a cycle, and there are now no acidic or basic functionalities because all we have is amide groups. This was the other example that your instructor was talking about, where you would not have a PI. And the reason there's no PI is that there aren't any any ionic forms here at all. It doesn't have to be a dipeptide. If you have any cyclic peptide, any cyclic peptide with, uh, with non-acidic or basic side chains, you would get this situation here where there's no acidic or basic. If groups. it's cyclic and there are ions, mm -hmm. but there's still no mm -hmm. um, N terminus, C terminus, right. you, could, you still can say that there could be a sweater ion. There is, Absolutely. That would be a test question. That's right. Okay. Yep. That's right. So it's, it's not necessarily just because. That's right. All right. Now, one thing to notice here is there's infinite variations here. There's no way we can go over every possible variation. He just happened to mention off the cuff, gee, it's kind of interesting that you can make amino acids that don't have a PI. Uh, he's probably going to give you an example in the test that's different than that. But again, the point is, if we understand the basic principles, we're supposed to be able to apply that to the new situation. So the point is, um, even if we've never heard about these things before, we should be able to figure out these don't have zwitter ions because they have no acidic or basic functionalities. I would say that's the easiest thing to figure out. But anyway, now we've seen these examples. Thank you.